Lying about your business activities on a disability insurance activity of daily living form can be fatal. Did you know that when you apply for your disability insurance benefits or you're actually on claim, you'll be asked to complete a form called an activity of daily living form. There are lots of questions that are on this form, but one of the most important questions if you are a, an entrepreneur is what are your business activities? Now let me tell you what the consequences can be. And it's going to be based on a, a real life story about a New Jersey long-term disability policy holder who worked for Wells Fargo as a mortgage broker. He made almost $500,000 a year. He claimed that he was disabled as a result of a neck condition. And as part of the application and ongoing uh, benefits, he filled out activity of daily living forms. And he was asked specifically about his business activities. And he indicated that he had a business uh, on the, the internet where he uh, sold uh, sports memorabilia cards. So this is a business on eBay, easily checked out. And he claimed that he was losing money. Well, he was naive and perhaps even stupid to think that the disability insurance carrier wasn't gonna uh, check out his business activities. And what they discovered was amazing. What they discovered was that he and a partner had formed a business uh, corporation for the purpose of creating a multi-purpose sporting event complex. Uh, in fact, they had purchased 22 acres. They had gotten an $11.5 million loan to build this complex. They were advertising uh, for uh, investors. And in fact, they even had started a, um, a startup uh, venture to demonstrate that this was uh, something that was needed in the tri-states uh, uh, New Jersey area. Uh, so they were out actively soliciting uh, coaches uh, for soccer um, and other sports, basketball, baseball. Uh, worse yet, they also um, had to do some hearings regarding zoning for this um, uh, 22 acres that they had purchased. And there were three zoning hearings. And the insurance company, Liberty, uh, obtained copies of the video from those hearings. And there sat the policyholder behind his lawyer. And these hearings lasted three to five hours. There was no evidence on the film that he had any difficulty sitting uh, or participating in any kind of activity. So obviously that was uh, con con uh, contradicts what he said about his physical activities, his ability to sit, stand, that sort of stuff. Um, but they had also put out uh, prospectuses to other investors. And as part of that, he had done interviews, recorded interviews that document what his plans were with his business investors, what their goals were, how much they had spent. And guess what? No evidence of disability. Now, what's important about this is during the period of time in which all this is taking place, he claims he's disabled and he fills out forms on more than one occasion saying that he's not engaged in any business activity. Well, you can be sure that the, his claim was denied. Foolishly, he went into federal court and said, I'm owed these disability benefits. And the judge said, I don't believe you. You have lied on your activity of daily living forms about your activities. And the carrier's got reams of evidence, written evidence, video evidence that you in fact were engaged in work activity uh, and held yourself out as being able to work during a period of time in which you were capable of working. Now, I don't think that's the only uh, consequence that this gentleman is going to face. His claim got denied, but in the state of New Jersey, they're very, very aggressive about fraud. And I wouldn't be surprised if the carrier has sent this entire package uh, of material, including all the, the video, to um, the New Jersey Department of Insurance for fraud investigation. So this gentleman can potentially end up uh, with a criminal charge, which can result in a fine, a conviction, and even imprisonment. Uh, so don't lie. It's as simple as that. One of the problems with lying is not only do you destroy your own claim, but you set a precedent and you reinforce disability insurance carriers' perception that every disability policy holder is a liar or a fraud. And I tell you, I won't represent you if I believe that you're uh, being uh, untruthful with me or the disability insurance carrier. But if you are disabled and the disability insurance carrier is delaying, 
or has denied or terminated your benefits, I'm the person for you. I can help you with your disability insurance claim regardless of where you live in the United States. Call me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation. I look forward to helping you get the disability benefits you and your family deserve.